like something in Amsterdam. Reflection. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is. That's beautiful. Hey guys, and welcome to today's POV street photography from Nottingham. And today I'm with my dad, who looks like he's being caught red-handed, about to rob a jewelry shop. Now there's lots of trams around in Nottingham. If you visited this place, they come around about every two minutes. Everywhere you go, there's the tram, and that's great because you can't beat a tram in some street photos. So. I'm setting up here, I'm shooting across these lines, so I'm using this as a leading line, and I'm just firing off on burst mode, trying to get the tram uh, kind of at the perfect place. And this is the shot that I ended up going for. I don't know what it is, and I don't know why, but I'm always drawn to these kind of gloomy dark alleys when I'm walking around the streets. I just like the kind of dark atmosphere that they kind of give in the photos and you'll see here i think that they can really work nice in just setting the scene now as i'm walking down the high street here there's this woman in front of me which has got this bag here i'm not stalking i promise you but as you will see right now she does this weird thing where she disappears into a wall Actually, it's not a wall, it's an alley, but it kind of looked like a wall then. And I love a nice alley which has a long leading line and real high vertical buildings. As you will see, it always works when taking a photo. Very strangely, after I walked through the alley, it must have been a zombie apocalypse because everyone disappeared and it was just me, my dad, and my camera. Now up here I noticed this really quirky clock and I decided that I was gonna frame this against the high building on the right hand side. I think it's made actually a very nice black and white photo. Something to always look for when doing street photography is reflections in puddles, in kind of whatever this is, it looks like some kind of water feature but they can really create beautiful photos. Now, I quite like this photo that I captured. Personally, I think there's a little bit too much going on, but it's still nice and there's lots in the scene. But this one here reminds me more of Amsterdam, where you've got that nice reflection of the building in the water across the canal. I think it's a good photo of this. Now, check out this kid in the gray hoodie on the left-hand side. He's about to do a sweet little trick. I think they say sweet these kids, I don't know. Look at that little flip. That's pretty impressive, right? I know I couldn't do that. On the left hand side, there is some people sitting on this miniature step, whatever it is. And I think they make a nice leading line down to this beautiful big Coliseum like building in the distance. So I focus on the woman here. F4 so I can keep her in focus and blur out the rest. Now my dad here is trying to work out some technology, the mobile phone, and you'll see a little while later he's still at it, so uh, bless him, he tries. There's this building in the distance here, and it's a really impressive building, but just because you get a beautiful building like this, it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to get a beautiful photo, because if there's one thing I've learned in photography, it's that what you see with your eye is definitely not what's conveyed in the camera. And I just tried a test shot there, and like I thought, it just didn't kind of stand out well enough, and I knew that I'd have to create some depth in the picture so that I could draw the viewer's eye through. Now I decided to use this lamppost on the left-hand side and this bike as well, just to create a little bit of depth and just to add something extra to the photo. Now, as I turned around, I could see in the crowd of people walking by, my dad's still trying to work out his mobile phone, bless him. At least he's trying, eh? Now up by this beautiful colored tree here, you can see this lovely dome shape, which 
tops off this building really nicely. And I could see these dark, gloomy clouds in the background, and I wanted to capture this standing out of these foreboding clouds, as you'll see in a minute. Now, I'm not a big taker of candid photos with people. Uh, I'm a little bit introverted, so I don't like to kind of catch people um, unaware. But now and again, I do do it. And it's something that I'm probably going to bring more into my street photography, as you can see from this photo. Um, but it's something which I find a little bit awkward at times because... You know, when people are un unprepared, you can get some of the best photos, I agree, but you can also get some really quite angry people. And I kind of understand because some people don't like their photo being taken. But you do get some really nice photos, so it's worth doing at times. Now, why are all kids these days riding around in those electric scooters? They seem to be everywhere. I'd actually like to try one myself. So in the distance here, you can see Bill's Restaurant and Bar. Now, my dad is called Bill, and I know he would have liked his own restaurant or bar back in the day. So I thought, why not have a fun photo? Why not get my dad to stand in front of the window? So I just had a little look through my camera, framed it up, and I thought, yeah, this is going to work nicely. Let's have a test photo. And then let's get him to stand in front of the window so that he can take this picture back to my mom and they can have a little bit of a chuckle about what could have been. Now, I'm going to end this video today with this photo and just say, over lockdown, we haven't got to spend much time with our family. So if you still haven't got to spend time with your family yet, I encourage you to go out, spend time with your loved ones and just make the most of it. It's been tough for us all and I wish you all the best. Give this video a like and I'll see you in the next one.